Okay, number six on the first practice test that gives you something like x1 minus x2 plus actually it's x, y, and z x minus y plus z equals negative 3 x minus y plus z equals 1 x minus y plus z equals 2 now on the first level these equations can't all be true. Matter of fact, if any one of these is true, the other are false. The others are false. Because the same numbers, x, y, and z, well, we have the same expression, x minus y plus z, on the left-hand side. If x minus y plus z is negative 3, then it isn't 1, and it isn't 2. If x minus y plus z is 1, then it isn't negative 3, and it isn't negative, and it isn't 2. Uh, so, anyhow, we write the system out, and how does the system reveal this? It reveals it by the fact that um, the equation reduces to this, or the system, the augmented matrix, reduces to this, because, of course, if we subtract the first row from the second, we get all zeros and then we get something that isn't zero. If we subtract the first row from the third, we get all zeros and something that isn't zero. Okay, so um, the system is totally incompatible. Okay, This would tell us that x minus y plus z is negative 3 and that 0 equals 4 and 0 equals 5 because if x minus y plus z is negative 3, then that would tell you that negative 3 has to equal 1, which would mean that 0 equals 4. And this would tell you uh, that negative 3 equals 2, which would tell you that 0 equals 5. Okay, totally incompatible. Also, in pairs, no pair of these equations would be compatible. Because if you just took any two of the three um, and subtracted one from the other, you would get a 0 equals something that's not 0. Our conclusion is, well, these represent planes. Now you're told that they represent planes. And you know that in space, two planes, either, if they're not parallel, they're going to intersect along some line. Okay? So, if they don't intersect, then there's no x, y, and z and let's just take two planes. If two planes don't intersect, then any x, y, z that gives you a point on this plane is not going to be on this plane, is it? So that's exactly what these equations are telling you. If x, y, z is a solution to the first equation, it's not a solution to either of the others, meaning that this plane and this plane don't intersect this plane, meaning that they're parallel but not intersecting. Now, it, it, it would be possible that you could reduce the system and get a row of zeros, okay? Whatever the system is. In this system, well, that would mean the first and second equations are identical, okay? Well, that would mean the planes are completely intersecting. Every point of one is a point of the other. Any solution to one is a solution for the other. Okay? That's not the case here. So, the main task here is write down the augmented matrix and reduce it. Or, if you wish, write it as a matrix equation. Okay? We could also have written it 1, negative 1, 1, 1, negative 1, 1, 1, negative 1, 1, multiplied by x, y, z equals negative 3, 1, 2. Well, the determinant of this matrix is 0. If any two multiples, if any two rows are multiples of each other, then the determinant is 0. And there are very easily understood reasons for that. So clearly the determinant of this matrix is 0. Also, clearly, if we row reduce this matrix, we get 
two rows of zeros. Clearly, it's going to be non-invertible, so we're not going to be able to solve for x, y, z that satisfies all three equations. Okay. Uh, in any of those ways, you determine that there's no solution to the system, and then that tells you that the planes are non-intersecting.